I'm the Toy Forever, and you're watching another video by iPod King Carter. Y'all dudes stay up on this video games all day while your girl is in the kitchen cooking and cleaning. It's rough being a bitch sometimes. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like button, and if you want to become a part of Team IKC, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below, boo. Yo. What's going on everybody, it's High Pie King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube, and I want to talk to you guys about EA Sports UFC. Now, if you've been subscribed to me for a while now, you know that I used to do my thing in UFC Undisputed 3. Now, with EA Sports UFC coming out within about another 9 months, around springtime 2014, at Gamescom they show pre-alpha gameplay. Now, the homie Brian Hayes, if y'all don't know who he is, he's the creative director. He's the guy who actually runs the EA uh, Sports UFC Twitter account. He, oh man, he blew everybody away. Like, now I know a lot of people always say when EA have these press conferences, if people aren't cheering, then something isn't going right. But to me, if people aren't booing and they're speechless and it's quiet, you can hear a nail drop you know people are intrigued you know they are like oh my god now let's talk about the pre-alpha gameplay now I know you guys don't see any right here it's just a little screenshot but what I want you to do is after I get done talking I want you to skip ahead in the video to, to five minutes and 30 seconds ahead from where I finish and then that's when the pre-alpha gameplay starts to be shown now, of course, you know, they did a little intro showing how they're, you know, broadening their horizons in other countries and stuff like that. And then when they bring Brian Hayes on, that's when the gameplay started, you know. He did his little promo for the UFC coming up with uh, Jones and the other dude fight. But from what I saw, the hair, the, 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 the teeth, the tongue, the mouth, the muscles, the veins, it, oh, man. For this game to be nine months away, this game looks good already. Like graphically, this game looks tight. Now, as the one dude tried to get the guillotine choke, oh man, did you see the way he was? Matter of fact, y'all gonna see it. But from what I saw, you know, the grimacing and you know him trying to actually get this thing in and get it tight, the bodies, the way they deform, yo. Bones Jones hit this bull with a, 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 a body kick and like he was trying to throw a punch and as soon as he got hit with the body kick it threw him all off because that's what should really happen if a guy is trying to throw a punch and you hit him with a kick he ain't supposed to be able to throw another punch right after that you know this body deformation system that they got going on is looking pretty good you got you got Jones jumping off the cage with a Superman punch you got people getting in guillotine chokes and and I don't know Jones look like he's about to tab out I don't know I'm saying I ain't not no tab out tab out not not, not future he's about to tab out but man from what I saw in this pre-alpha gameplay this game is definitely going to be pre-ordered and paid for as soon as it, it is announced. Because, of course, you know, you can't pre-order until they announce a release date and stuff like that. So, all I know is, at EA Sports UFC Twitter account, they're following me. I'm following them. I stay updated. And I'll be sounding like a fanboy from time to time. But, hey, when it comes to a sport that everybody loves around the world, you you have to say UFC is at the top of the list. You have to say that. You know, this this thing is literally worldwide. But man, that gameplay. You know, do y'all want to get into the gameplay? You know what? This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to end my portion because I sound like a fanboy. I'm going to end my portion. And I'm going to let you actually see this pre-alpha gameplay for yourselves. And then let you guys decide. So, what I want y'all to do is inside the comment section, let me know if this thing looks good. You know, watch some of my old um, UFC Undisputed 3 games and see if you know try to compare it you know see how the players look how the bodies actually look how the players really look like them so you know what i'm done this is ikc signing out you guys enjoy the rest of this video peace i don't care what language you speak or what country you come from at the end of the day we're all human beings and fighting's in our dna we get it and we like it. It is great to be down under. Live from 
China, in Tokyo, Japan, back in Canada, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Abu Dhabi, the UK, Germany, Sweden. And here we go! Everyone is on their feet for this. These guys are true professionals. Great show of respect between these two fighters. Welcome to the Ultimate Fighting Championship World. Mein Damen und Herren, live from Cologne, Germany. Australia, by way of California, he is the head of EA Sports, ladies and gentlemen, Andrew Wilson, and hailing from Birmingham, England, by way of Las Vegas, he is the head of the UFC in Europe, ladies and gentlemen, Gary Clark. Bruce Buffer, ladies and gentlemen, the voice of the UFC. <laughs> now tell me you don't want to get announced like that for every meeting you go to from here on out. Now Gary, fighting, it's in our DNA. And the UFC is unquestionably the future of professional fighting. Yeah, the UFC showcases the highest level of competition of the modern mixed martial artist. Our athletes undergo rigorous training across a multitude of martial arts disciplines, including popular Olympic sports like boxing, judo, wrestling, and of course, taekwondo. Now, some of you know how passionate I am about mixed martial arts and the UFC, and I'm not the only one. All over the world, people from all walks of life have embraced MMA and the UFC, whether it's your neighbor next door or some of your favorite athletes and celebrities. It really is an incredible phenomenon, and we at EA Sports couldn't be more excited to bring this sport to all of you in spring 2014. Thanks, Andrew. And it's good to be up here with somebody so passionate. You know, the UFC is the world's fastest growing sport. We have athletes representing 37 countries. We broadcast our events in over 28 languages. And we've established major broadcast partnerships in 145 countries around the world. And in 2014, you'll see more live events. England, Sweden, Poland, Ireland, Turkey, and most importantly, we will be back in Germany in 2014. It's a sport with unparalleled excitement, athleticism, and emotion. Now, to show you how we at EA Sports are going to allow fans to experience it, here is the creative director behind EA Sports UFC, Brian Hayes. Thanks, Andrew. I'm here today representing a tremendously talented team from EA Canada, hard at work on EA Sports UFC. It's a group of people that have worked on outstanding games like EA Sports FIFA, NHL, SSX, and of course, Fight Night. Using the power of the next-gen consoles and the EA Sports Ignite engine, our goal is to bring you inside the UFC octagon and make you feel the fight like never before by delivering true player motion and human intelligence in the game. Now, we're about nine months from hitting the shelves, so early days. But our fans are really excited to see this game in action, so for the first time today, we're gonna show some pre-alpha gameplay featuring John Jones and Sweden's own Alexander Gustafsson, who are actually fighting each other in about one month at UFC 165, so check that out if you're interested. 
Feel the fight means bringing these guys to life like never before, with the most realistic fighter likeness we've ever delivered, combined with a new facial animation system that'll make them seem more intelligent, more aware, and more alive. That means guys like Jones and Gustafsson will look precisely like themselves, from John Jones' long arms to Gustafsson's cauliflowered ears. And they'll act more like living, breathing human beings, not just a couple of action figures. Feel the fight means these guys are going to move around the ring with a real sense of weight and momentum and utilize an enormous variety of strikes. Precision movement is our new locomotion system, and it prevents the fighters from sliding and floating across the surface of the octagon. And it makes our dynamic striking more impactful by allowing them to really plant their feet on the floor. Unless, of course, they plant their feet somewhere else, like Jones does here with a Superman punch off the side of the cage, which is just pretty cool. Finally, Feel the fight means showing you the effect a UFC fight has on the human body, especially when it goes to the ground. So after a big takedown, Gustafsson tries to lock in a guillotine choke, where we see our real-time exertion and full-body deformation systems take center stage. You can see him grimacing with effort, tendons and veins bulging out, his face turning red as he tries to finish the submission. And it's not a good situation for John Jones. You can see the fighter's bodies deforming each other where they come in contact. The pressure building on his neck as Gustafsson struggles to try and make him tap out. That's all happening inside EA Sports UFC right now. And like I said, we have about nine months to go before we hit the shelves, so I hope you'll agree. We're poised to deliver an authentic, fun, and accessible UFC experience. EA Sports UFC is coming spring 2014 to both the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. Thank you. Yerp, this is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC click subscribe. Oh and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.